To begin access to the super admin, we'll have to start accessing the regular admin page first using the link 192.168.1.1. Okay, you will see the username is admin and 1234 as the password. And an attempt, type in 192.168.1.1, then hit enter. And if you see this error, just hit advanced or click advanced. Then click proceed to right there. Then you will be directed to the login page. Username admin and password 1234 as the login information. Type admin and password 1234. Usually, if it's the first time you're trying to log into the admin page, you will see this pop-up window. So it's it will be asking you to modify password. Old password, which is the one two three four, for the login page. Then I'll type in a new password. The new password is going to be nine eight seven six five four three two one. Just for now. So confirm nine eight seven six five four three two one. It's all set, just need to click the apply button to save the changes and click the back button to go back to the login page. Then the username will be the admin, then the password which we've just created is the 98765-4321 and we're logged in. Then just log this one out. Log out. Okay, back to the admin page. Now we'll now proceed to the super admin page, enabling of the super admin. Now remember the username here, change to administrator later. So using this link here, with the, the same link basically, it's just the fh at the end after the forward slash. The fh. So remember the username. When I hit enter on this, it changes to administrator now. Then the username for this is going to be this one. Super admin username. Just copy and paste it. So I'll just copy this. And paste. Same with the password. Just copy and paste it. Then click login. And we logged in. Then click the debug switch. And you will see three types of switches there. 
just enable them one by one. Click apply on each switch. Okay, once done, just need to log this one out. So let me log this one out now since it's all done. Then to finally get into the super admin access, we'll be using a different username and password. This one here. The same link. Oh and just copy God. this no. username. Then paste. Same with the password, just copy and paste this. Then log in. And just how we try to access the regular admin page, this one is also asking me to modify my password. So I put in the same password. So this one, I'll just copy it again, show you. And then I will create a new password. So I'll create a new password. All right. Just a short password and easy to remember and all set. Click apply. And we're done. Just click the back button oh and log God. in using the same no. username and the new password that I've just created, the short one. Not anymore this one. Okay. So this one is over. We have a new password created. Just type it in. And then log in. Boom. There we have it. Now we're logged into the super admin access of the PLDT Wi-Fi. So we now have the power to enable or disable the LAN ports. So go to network, then broadband settings that will automatically bring you to internet settings where you will see LAN binding or LAN binding. So from there you can just check or uncheck, check to enable the LAN ports or uncheck to disable them. And as always, click apply to save changes.